Rangers, people who left, pitchers, Cole Cal, or Pit, that's a right fielder, pitchers, Matt Moore and Cody Uihara, position players, Cole Calhoun, Charlie Culberson, and Kevin Plawicki. Trades, none. Oh, no, trades, yes. They traded for Jake Odorizzi, the bum, which I don't know what they're doing with that, but let's talk about what they did do. Free agency and re-signings. They went and got Jake DeGrom, Nathan Evaldi, Andrew Heaney, Jose LaCure, and Martin Perez re-sign with this team. And this this blows my mind, guys. Coaching changes. Bruce Bochy is back as the new manager. Will Venable was hired as the hitting coach, and Greg Maddox was brought in as his pitching coach. Under the radar, minor league signing, Sandy Leone, Travis Janikowski, Ian Kennedy, and Danny Duffy. I could talk about this team for hours. Ian, what grade are you going to give these Rangers? I, I got to give them B, B plus here. Uh, and uh, I could I was almost going to go A, believe it or not, because of what they did with the pitching, uh, Eovaldi and, uh, of course, Jacob deGrom. It goes without saying, but uh, – and I almost gave them an A because of the managerial hire. I mean, this had to have appealed to Bruce. I wasn't convinced we're going to see Bruce Bochy again as a manager after the San Francisco days, and I guarantee you one thing. This guy is a smart guy, Bruce Bochy. He ain't getting off his ass in retirement living for uh, to be fucking mediocre. OK, he sees this situation as this looks like we're putting together something good here in Texas. I like this rotation. We've got pieces in the lineup. I'm not coming back to be a loser. You know, after all the World Series championships with San Francisco, why would you? He sees something here that works, that he likes. And I think for that reason, I'm putting my faith in Bruce Bochy here, that he likes where they're going in Texas, that they can compete, that they can maybe even challenge a Houston Astros in this AL West division this year. Uh, and I think there's a lot to like. There's a lot of upside. Now, it kind of feels like they're everybody's favorite and one of most improved teams in the American League. That's the one thing. It seems like everybody and his brother's going to feel that way. I'm always getting a little worried about that, that they're going to be the hot commodity, you know, the hype team, if you will, coming into this season. But there's a lot to like and a lot of improvement in this Texas team. So I give them B+. Plus. Yes, sir. Jimmy, what grade do you give these Rangers? I give them a D. Oh, wow. I give them a D. We know how this game works. You can't just throw money at your problems. I I think this is gonna now. Bruce Bochy is the man, and that you know that could you know now the off season could be a C. But it's we're judging these decisions that were made. This is the second year in a row. I mean, you're gonna give Degrom five years, one hundred and eighty-five million. Are you kidding me? Is there any world? Where they succeed, sure, uh, sure, they, they go to the World Series. I agree with the market on this team. They're over-unders at 82 and a half, slightly juiced to the over. So what, the market expects them to go 83 and 79? Uh, DeGrom threw 64 and a third innings in 2022. He's thrown 224 and a third innings over the past three years. They give Corey Seager 10 years, 325 million. Simeon, seven years, 175 million. John Gray, four years, 56 million. Well, did it work last year? 4.63 ERA, 25th out of 30. I, I, I just, I think this is, this never works. Who do I like on this team? Dunning, Otto, Kumar Rocker, Jack Leiter, Owen White. I, I like the kids that they have coming up. This is, the, is Josh Young ready to be the starting third baseman? I mean, is Josh Smith, Josh Smith, Leody Tavares, and Bubba Thompson an outfield that's going to get you to the playoffs? <laughs> Can Greg Maddox be a great pitching coach? Can the, the best at their sport be good coaches? Ask Wayne Gretzky how that went. Uh, I hope this gets bet up. I would bet the under. We see this fail year after year after year from a different team. And, you, you know, I, I, other, if, if it wasn't for Bochi, I would be – I would have already bet the under for their season win total. That's hey. I hear you. That's I, why I, I, most of my analysis was about Bochi because that's I, I I trust that he thinks there's some that he can work with this group and mold them into a a, a champ not a championship but a play at least a playoff team. We we love ah. this sport so much because you can't just throw money at it. Hey, and that was the first hot take I've heard straight up D yeah. 
for the for D. Go get the Grom for D. There's oh, health concerns Lord. with the Grom. I will say that there is. CBS Sports agreed with Ian, giving them a B plus, and I gave them a B as well. Like I love the Bochi move just as much. I love the Degrom move, but I actually love the Evaldi move more than any of that. Like I expect a ginormous bounce back for Evaldi. And uh, to answer your question on Maddox, he was successful as the Rangers pitching coach for a four year period before they let him go couple years back so he has shown he's a good pitching coach i and love if you're him. i love him too i just think this coaching staff is going to coach these guys and and let them play bro like this these are players coaches if you've ever wanted one and john gray should have a giant leap year you have the best fastball slider combo to teach you a trick or two to show you what scherzer just showed him throw a fucking curveball first pitch get a fucking strike anytime you want it like I, I, I think Gray is going to uh, blossom with the Grom being there because that's the best combo and what he throws already. Are so. you surprised that the win totals at eighty two and a half? Um, I don't think they have a back end. I, I, I don't even know who their fucking closer is. Is it still Lequeur? Like, do they freaking just roll the dice? Like, I, they've got a lot of questions to me still to answer. But their starting pitching should be good enough to keep them competitive. But Evaldi's nemesis is the fucking Astros. I fade Evaldi versus the Astros. That's mandatory. And now you're going to see them three, four times a year? Like, uh uh-oh.